Good morning, everybody. It is November 30th, Tuesday, as the month plows along here, almost over. Uh, we had such a great time in the studio yesterday. I mean, it's, it's like we're all kind of still buzzing from it. Um, Joe Walsh has a foundation called Vets Aid uh, and Helping Veterans. It's a great cause. He's been doing it a while, and he's raised a lot of money um, for veteran causes. And I, I'm so appreciative of, of his efforts in this area because they've really been left in the dust in so many situations. Um, so it's, it's very cool that, he, that he's done this. And it was, so we were uh, playing, working on two new songs um, of Joe's. It was myself and Ben Montench from uh, Tom Petty's band playing uh, his B3 organ, Hammond. Um, Waddy and Russ and myself and Joe. And then in the uh, mid-afternoon, <laughs> Ringo comes and does double drums with Russ. Uh, and I'm sitting there like freaking out. I'm, I've met Ringo uh, uh, several times, but I've never played with him. And to be sitting pretty much right next to him, just kind of looking at each other playing, I was like flipping out in deep internal. I was looking real cool on the outside, but inside I was, you know, looked like a bunch of uh, gummy bears or something going on inside that were melting. Uh, what a sweet cat. What a sweet man. And we had such a great time uh, together. He hung out uh, for about an hour and then split. And, uh, and we got all the work done that we had to do for this. Uh, we got more, there'll be more songs to come, according to Joe. Um, I love playing with him. He's just such an unbelievably unique musician, both in his playing and in his writing. It is so great, so quirky. Very, the, the, one of the songs we did yesterday was, was very Zevon esque in its lyric. You know, you just kind of go, wow, what a thought process. But more of like Zevon, if Zevon was a, like an old blues player. Uh, so. so we had fun. That was great. Um, this morning, I'm just uh, taking care of stuff. I've got a couple, a couple more songs that people have sent me to put bass on. I, since last night, I got a bunch of book orders. Um, so I'm going to fill those out and head to the post office and have two print orders. So I have to go buy blues and pick those up because they've printed and, and uh, got those ready for me to get in mail. Um, let's see. I guess for the moment, that's it. So today I was thinking about, you know, musically, I was just going through more stuff, thinking about it. And uh, I think um, I'm going to go back. Uh, oh, I haven't going to go back and revisit, but I, it, I'm not going back to stuff I've done. Uh, this was another project I did with him. But I've always really enjoyed... James Taylor's brother, Livingston. Um, Livingston is very different than James. I mean, sonically, their voices can be very uh, cut of the same cloth. Uh, but his approach to songwriting uh, is, is different than James's. His playing is there. So it's, it's wonderful, like when, you, when I would get together with the Taylor family um, and, uh, and just uh, see the James and, and then Kate and live and just uh, uh, they are quite quite a unique um, family for sure. So this was an album that we did um, called The Last Alaska Moon. We cut this in 2009. It was produced by Glenn Rosenstein, who I love working with. Um, and let's see, we recorded it at Paragon Recording Studios in Franklin, Tennessee, and it was engineered um, by Jeff Balding, Steve Beicher, um, John Feria, Glenn Rosenstein, and Steve Marcantonio, a lot of different people involved in this, and it was mixed and mastered by the great George Massenberg. Um, great, great bands on these. So the, the uh, first one I'm going to play here is called Never Lose Hope, and it's Livingston on vocals and acoustic guitar, myself on bass, the great Steve Gadd on drums, Shane Keister on Fender Rhodes and Hammond B3, Larry Carlton on electric guitar, and Ken Lewis and Eric Darkin on percussion. So here we go. This is just a, t uh, a kind of a, a nice taste of live. He's so good. Here we go. Can do it till the dream comes true. You can do it till the 
the sky goes blue. I know it's dark, but in your heart there's a light that will see you through. Here's a melody to help you cope, even when you're at the edge, the end of your road. Jump up, join in again, shoulders up, stick out your chin, elbow grease and so Oh, never lose hope. Open up and start to breathe. Wear your heart upon your sleeve. Follow the fairy tale down the winding trail. Hold on and believe. Show them all what you're on. That the only choice is love. And if they ask if you're afraid not to join the big parade, you can just tell them no. Never lose hope. The new year starts tomorrow. The past is done, it's worst. No need to hide the world so wide. Water for your thirst. Hey, even Boston lost its curse. Saddle up and start to Giddy up, you found your stride. Gather for play on this beautiful day. It was all inside. You toughed it out and made it through. And you stayed true to you. You're on the other side. You left behind your foolish pride. Your name's in the envelope. Never lose hope. Never lose hope. Never, ever You know, talking about drummers, you know, Ringo, Russell. Well, getting, whenever I get a chance to play with Steve Gadd, it is, man, it is the most comfortable groove you could ever want to live in. He is something special. I really so love playing with him. Um, and I just love the way Liv tells stories. He's a real great, such a great balladeer. Um, here's here's a cover. Let's do this. The Girl is Mine, Michael Jackson. And this is his interpretation of that. And it's live on piano and vocals. Uh, James Taylor's son, Ben Taylor, uh, also on vocals with it. Myself, Steve Gadd, Chris Rodriguez on electric guitar, Shane Keister on, again on Rhodes and B3, and Ken Lewis on percussion, and John Mark Painter did the string arrangements and conducting. So here we go. This is The Girl Is Mine. Let's get this back to the top. Every night she walks right in my dreams Since I met her from the start I'm so lucky I'm the only one who is special in her heart. The girl is mine. The dark one girl is mine. I know she's mine. The dark one girl is mine. Understand the way you think Saying that she's yours, not mine 
Sending roses in your city is really just a waste of time Cause she's mine Oh my Dark on the Your time, don't go look in the mind. I love you more than he. Again, my old trusty Frankenstein. It was fun yesterday when we were in the studio, besides Edge coming down to see us, Adam Clayton came down too, and he was checking out the bass, playing around with that bit, going, oh yeah, he dug it. And uh, what's, what's not to dig? I've always enjoyed his work, so we had, we had him. I rarely talk bass with anybody, but it was fun talking with him. And um, so let's see, we got, hold on, one more here. Uh, let's, I'm going to do the title track to the album. Uh, this is The Last Alaska Moon, and it is uh, live, again, on guitar and vocals, on this acoustic guitar, myself, Steve Gadd, Shane Keister on piano, Aubrey Haney on mandolin, Chris Rodriguez and Vince Gill on electric guitars, Paul Franklin on steel, Gary Corbett on Hammond B3, and Ken Lewis on percussion. Not a bad lineup. So here we go. This is Last Alaska Moon, the title track from the album. Coming for that last Alaska moon. Running for that last Alaska moon. Laundry on my knee, he looked 13 to me. We were bound for sleepy town of hands. To ease my eyes and to rinse my brains and to find my friends and feel the change. Look up the long lost tune. 
In the shadows cast by the last of the lads to move Little Jimmy T is going stone blind Pain because of lead in cheap moonshine Three years together in the Hanoi Inn That makes us kin Face goes wide and he's choking on fear And he clutches my sleeve and he spills my beer And he says we're dying right now, right here I say, Jimmy, don't give up so soon There's a blast before the last of the last can move Cards with nothing but time Suspicious eyes on my friend stand He was shaking with the contraband He was shaking still when the darkness fell And the Yukon ghosts got up from hell And the seven sons were singing their spells And the witches brought their rooms To ride out fast before the last of the last can move Northern lights with one glance, we can run in, run in for that last Alaska moon. Oh, running for that last of Alaska moon, running for that last of Alaska moon. Lives writing and his performance. It was great when we were doing the uh, Peter Asher, Kate Taylor tour when we got out to the Martha's Vineyard and played the Tabernacle out there. Liv uh, came to the gig. It was great. I hadn't seen him in a couple of years. <clears throat> so it was really nice just to. He walks in a room, man. It's like the room's just exploded. <laughs> his energy is uh, nuclear. Uh, I will say that. He's, he's one of these people that really lights up a room when he arrives. Yeah, in a in a really positive way, <clears throat> so that's it. If you, there's great songs on this album, so check it out. The last Alaska Moon from 2009, Livingston Taylor, and then I got a call uh, day before yesterday from my dear friend Cheche Alara, who we used to do the uh, did a lot of the Latin Grammy shows with, and um, we're doing the Latin Grammys again at the end of January. So I'm really excited about that. I want to check one more thing too. Um, I think what do we got here? I think the next live stream is going to be um, December eighth. So mark that all you clubhouse members, uh, mark that one in your book. So December eighth will be the next uh, clubhouse stream. Uh, I love it. I love that so much, and it seemed to be uh, the right day for it because um, I'm doing another project with Cheche on the fifth through the seventh. So the eighth seemed logical to continue on our on our little journey here. Again, I'm going to thank all those uh, people working. You know, everything's become frontline in this world, but certainly, you know, police, fire, medical. All these people that really put themselves in harm's way every day. I mean, this is the conversation we're having in the studio um, every day. We walk in, we, we've got to show proof of vaccination, get a COVID test, and we have to stay masked until, you pr until your COVID test comes back negative. And then when we're working in the studio, we were able to work unmasked, but um, everybody was, was cleared at that point. But... Um, you know, this is just m not going away. N numbers are, are starting to climb dramatically. So be safe, get vaccinated, 
let's get this behind us. Um, it'll never be over. I mean, these things are never over, but we can get it with in control so that we can start to realistically enjoy life rather than running out and when something opens up and then next week have a super spreader event and a lot of people get sick. I just, I hate the idea of anybody dying unnecessarily or being incredibly sick. And I know people going through this right now. So um, be smart, think about all, all of this and do your best uh, for yourself and your family and your community. So I will be back tomorrow, more music. Um, I've just seen a whole bunch of things I want to start posting. And I'm going to start playing again soon now that things are calming down for the moment. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start uh, maybe play some immediate family stuff for you and show you bass parts uh, from our stuff. So uh, take good care, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm heading off to Blues now and then the warehouse. So, you know... A moving target's harder to hit, sort of my philosophy, so I just keep moving. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.